So how would you explain unified namespace, industry four, and digital strategy generically without using buzzwords? All right. Let's start with industry four. Industry four, industry 4.0, or the fourth industrial revolution here in the United, in North America, industry four and the fourth industrial revolution are the same thing in North America. In the European Union, industry four means two things. It means what it means here in North America, and it means a standard that was written and presented at Hanover Messi in 2012. Ignore that standard. Even the EU has said we were wrong. Okay. So the Germans have said we were wrong, what we wrote in 2012. The fourth industrial revolution, it, it's in, in order for you to understand the fourth industrial revolution, you under, need to understand all the previous industrial revolutions. Actually, I want to say Amy Williams goes over this in her video that she published on Skellig's YouTube channel, and we've gone over it a bunch of times on our YouTube channel. The first industrial revolution was essentially the steam engine. The second industrial revolution was um, the assembly line. The third industrial revolution, which started in 1969, was the PLC, and it was the automation of industrial processes. The fourth industrial revolution, which has started when TCP IP won the protocol wars in 1998, which made it possible to take operational technology and connect it to information technology, IT and OT. That started the fourth industrial revolution, and it's all in service of automating business decisions. So we automate the process of industry in third industrial revolution, but industry four is about automating business decisions, things like updating recipes, um, so selecting and consuming the correct lot, of a raw material from our bill of materials for consumption on our production line. All the business things that we do, scheduling, fourth industrial revolution is all about automating those processes while creating a digital infrastructure in service of making data the primary commodity. That's industry four. Data becomes the most valuable thing in your business, not the thing you're shipping out the door. If you ask people, why is Tesla awesome? It's because Tesla makes products they get better after you buy them. They don't depreciate. They appreciate through features. And the only way to do that is to be digital. Okay. Um, digital strategy is a three sentence statement that says why we want to make data our primary commodity. What is our strategy for making data the primary commodity in the business? Okay. What is our strategy for one common digital infrastructure? Like imagine in your home, right? Right now in our home, most of you, if you haven't bought a brand new house, you don't have a smart home, okay? So let's say I have an old house built in the 1970s and I wanna make that house smart, okay? My digital strategy for making that a smart home using smart thermostats and smart lights and a smart um, electrical panel and you putting meters on my on on all of my, water in fee inlets and outlets, okay? So that they're all aggregated in one central location so that I can be informed about my energy consumption and et cetera, et cetera. The digital strategy statement would be, why is it we're gonna do that? Why do I wanna make my house a smart home? And how am I gonna do it? That's digital strategy. Most people are starting without even defining why they wanna do it or how they're gonna do it. So imagine you were gonna make your house smart but you didn't start with why. Well, if you don't start with why, let's say your why is we want to become, I want to spend less on utilities and I and in service of sustainability for humanity. Let's say that that's your why, okay? Well, if I don't have that as my why, as I start to just put smart things in, I might pick light bulbs that don't connect to technology that allows me to track energy consumption. I might not select putting in a smart electrical panel that has sensors on each of the breakers with instead of uh, putting CTs with individual Raspberry Pis tracking load on each of the circuits. That's what digital strategy is, okay? And then uh, unified namespace. Unified namespace is the infrastructure upon which you build, you you create, you manifest your digital strategy. So the unified namespace is an architecture. It is semantically organized. 
Okay, that is, it makes sense. I don't have to teach it to someone. I, it's like a file share for all your data and information. It is also the single source of truth for data and information in your digital infrastructure. That is, if I look at a value in the unified namespace, that is the value right now. It is also gives me full context. So I can take data points and I can understand them in relation to one another. And it normalizes. That is, it takes that data and it gives me one value for every other value I have. Okay. Did somebody ask what was wrong with the EU standard? Yeah, Ferry said the um, the wrong standard from EU is is the asset administration shell. The wrong standard in the EU is um, basically every standard they've ever written. If I'm being honest, because they all start from theory, not application. But that's a completely different discussion. <laughs> <laughs>